Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to T-30, a game where you have to build a city within 30 minutes before the world ends. So we start off here. You can see the timer is in the top right. We literally only have 30 minutes, and I can pause it, but then I can't see anything that's happening on screen. But basically, we have the citadel in the middle. This produces us a small amount of basic resources every 10 seconds. You can see them popping up on the screen there. All of our resources are over on the left there. There's also work, water, and power. Uh, so let's start off then we've got this clear button down here any like destroyed buildings we can destroy so i'm just gonna do that to start with because it's a nice way to get a load of resource and to clear a load of space so even in the mountains we can clear the boulders and stuff nice okay so that's a load a load of space a load of resource then we can let's come into this one agriculture we can build a well now that will produce us five water every second it does cost 20 wood and 20 stone it's something to bear in mind uh, so let's shove that there and then we can surround that in these tiled lands now that costs compost um that's not how i'd say it now we've got a fair amount of that so if we just surround that you can see the water is now flying out of the fields into the fields and so that will give us food you can see the food resource there we have food now when we have food that means we can we can have houses and we start off with camps so this converts that food into compost as well as work why are you saying it like that now compost we need to replant the farms obviously but the work allows allows us to, to get jobs on the goat. So let's shove that there. So you can see that is producing compost. You can see there's loud people all on these roads. Basically, that's how much work is, is available. So as we add more of those houses, these, these bars of people, they should start to fill up, meaning we can then add some jobs around. Now, at the moment, you can't really see too far beyond the map. So what we need to do, we can build a road. We'll go up that way. And then down here, we have a lookout post. Costs wood and stone. But if we shove that on the edge like that, that. Oh, I think that's the edge of the map. We, we can't see that way. <laughs> Ignore that. Pretend, pretend I went over this direction. <laughs> <laughs> well, for reasons like this, I wish I had longer than 30 minutes. We're already like three minutes in. So lookout tower there. And that expands to reveal loads of the map. So if I just grab this road, head up that way, we can then come into this one, the hammer, and we can build a logging site. So we'll shove those on there. They will get us logs. They will get us wood as well as compost every second. And they just cost one work. So you can see that's why like the work, the yellow, the yellow like people icon is traveling along the roads. And um, But yeah, basically our ultimate aim is within within. 30 minutes, I think a meteor storm is going to destroy the earth. So we've got to try and get all the resources to build these rockets and get out of here. And basically, the more survivors you save, the better you do. You can see up here, we're currently saving no survivors because uh, we haven't built any rockets yet. We need plastics to get a basic rocket. This one requires seeds as well as loads of compost. The one at the bottom needs way more stone, way more plastics as well as minerals. So we've got to work on that. I think for now, let's head into the mountains because then we can shove one of these down across. That turns two work into two stone every second. So let's shove three of those in. So those mountains are now quarries. As before, let's dig up all of these. They're all broken lands. Nice. Oh, and then over this way, we got we got farms that need replanting. So we gotta we gotta make sure we do that. Otherwise, we, we run out of the food. Right, nice. Next up, I need to take a road over to these skyscrapers. So I think let's come down here and get another lumberjack there. Oh, we are we do we are low on one farm. Let's just replace that one. There we go. And then in these in these skyscrapers, we can make a reclamation site. So that reclamation site turns three work into one metal and one plastic every second. Uh, so that requires quite a bit of work. So if we shove those in, I think we're now pretty low on the work. Yeah, top left, 23%. So basically, we need way more houses. Um, we can't afford these yet. We haven't made any plastics, but these will get us plastics. We just need more houses to fuel them. So I think for now, let's just get a cheeky little housing estate going like along that way. All right, nice. I'm then going to take a road probably up this way. Shove another one of those down just to reveal more of the map there. Maybe one there to reveal the map this way. Oh, look, that is a rare site. Can I actually clear that now? No, I need to I need to explore. Okay, if we can get closer to that, we are laughing. They are filled with loads of resources. So let's just clear a load of stuff. Stuff, build our road across there. And then if we shove another one of those in, yes, we have revealed it. Now, this is a resource cache. Uh, it costs 10 metal, but we gain 1,000 stone, 100 metal, 200 plastic, and 50 minerals. Bang in. So basically, you want to find as many of those as possible. Um, and then I need to build I need to build more houses, really. So let's do a road up that way. And oh, we can afford some decent houses now. Now, the trouble with these, these bottom ones, these higher upgraded ones, can you see not just food, they require energy. Now, that requires 40 energy. 
let's build let's build one of these anyway a big big old house we'll shove that there but we need 40 energy into the back so we can come into here a windmill will produce 10 energy every second solar panel 50 so we can shove a solar panel next to it and now this is making us a whole lot of work and you can see the work like spreading out like look at the bar like fluctuating as the work comes out of there so that's good that means we're now producing metals and plastics and there all the farms are running out so we will replant those however look we've unlocked new farms because we've got more resources we we can get some of these on the go. So a greenhouse takes 10 water and 10 energy to make 10 food. Uh, 10 water is quite a lot though. This well only produces five every second. So really we want to try and find a water source, which yes, that's what's up here. We've got water up that way. So if we shove a pumping station like there, Oh, T minus 20 minutes. Time is running out. That pumping station needs energy. Now this is producing 10 more energy than I need. So in the energy tab, I can build one of these transmitters and that allows me to move energy around. So if I shove that there, that should power this pump. So it will shove the greenhouse down right and then we're making more of that nice we need to get the another farm in there to get it replanted i think what i might do just go with like some more simple food as well so if i shove that say there clear some space plant more farms and that should be good i can do a road up that way and then try and get those those reclamation sites or actually an advanced reclamation site that will get me minerals now we are lacking on minerals we've only got 10 of them so how many of those can i afford to build i can build loads of those so we'll try and make both of them reclamation things however they require 10 energy so they're going to need a windmill each so we'll shove a windmill there a windmill there and now they are making us the minerals anyway i want to do a little bit more exploring so if i head up this way i can get one of these lookout posts this one goes in a mountain boosh reveals all of this area and it reveals so much stuff we can dig up so let's get all of these dug that's going to be so much extra resource and then oh there's extra land over there oh oh that means actually i may want to let's let's remove that that windmill sorry mate because look we have here a bridge bridge transports work over lakes and rivers so we can literally head over this way so we've got a bridge and you know what that means we need a bridge review it's a bridge carrying workers across an epic chasm. However, I'm already halfway through my time and I don't really have time to do a bridge review. So I'm just going to pick a number at random and give this a score of 3.7 out of 10. Bridge review! Anyway, yep, yeah, while we're over this side, I need to I need to get another lookout tower in. Oh, look at all this land over here. All right, then we've got to start clearing these and I really need to start building some actual rockets soon. Although we're out of food again. Hang on, hang on. Let's build another farm. Boosh, boosh. Let's clear all this area over this way. All right, okay. And then down here, we'll go over to that point. Point. We'll get another lookout tower in. Boosh. Oh, yes, we got another one of those. So clear that up. Clear all of these as well. That is going to be some fat resource. Yeah, it looks like we're fine for workers. All of our roads are completely filled up. Yeah, 100% worker demand. That is good. Yeah, we need to keep replanting our fields. I always forget to do that. Um, oh, we got an advanced quarry. I've never seen that, actually. That produces 10 stone a second. Oh, yeah, that's way better. So we'll shove that in. We got another mountain there, actually. Uh, these do require power, 20 energy. So they need, they need two wind turbines. So I'll shove one either side. I don't think I can do either side here but i could shove one there actually i might shove solar panels in because in this skyscraper here i think i'm gonna put one of these advanced reclamation sites again we'll do that one as well clear the land behind actually i'll do that one as well and then hopefully i can afford yeah i got loads of resources i can get solar panels there solar panels there so now they are all making us some stonks decent um, i'm probably gonna run out of wood yeah we're down to 250 wood so i better get some more lumberjack things dotted about these have to go next to roads so basically Basically, any trees that are next to roads, I'm just going to shove these in. Right, nice. We are a bit short of work. Is that just because we're short of food? Because I forgot to rebuild those farms? Potentially. Let's have a look. We're on 68%. But once these are watered, they should start making more food. All right, so now they're making food. So has the work gone up? No, the work... Oh, yeah, it is. It is going up. Okay, nice. I do think we probably need some more, some more work anyway. Let's grab another big apartment. I'm going to shove that there. Sorted. Right, now I'm going to think about getting the old the rockets in. We can build a basic rocket or two now these just go they've just got to be connected to a road so i can literally shove them like there there's our first one we've got some fireworks we've saved our first 400 people so yeah we can sort of shove these in the gaps which is good um but ideally we want to aim for like some of these advanced rockets the buy rocket that can carry up to 6,000 survivors uh, but it requires seeds now we haven't got any seeds yet if we want to get seeds we need an arboretum so that needs 20 water 
last for a second to get seed. So if we can shove this down. Ah, bind us 10 minutes. T minus 10 minutes. Paddock. Uh, possibly like there. Then we can put a pump station there. And then we can power it there. And then that's making us seeds. Nice. The question is, can I get a load of pump stations like that? I think I can if I do one of these towers. Yeah, that's good. That's spreading it everywhere. And then I can make more seeds by doing like that. And oh, it doesn't look like they go diagonal. They don't go that diagonal. That's annoying. Okay, we'll delete that then. Anyway, we're now collecting seeds, which means we should be able to build some bio rockets. But remember, these need water to charge up. Now, actually, actually, could I just, could I not just move that? Yeah, I can use this, a water tower. So I can put a water tower there. That allows me to basically to send water anywhere within, within this area. So for example, I could just put that like there. And then you can see the water's flying all the way to it. I can put another one up there. Water gets there. We're getting loads of seed. Yeah, but more importantly, we can get the bio rockets. Now these need to be connected to a road. Road. So nice. We can shove those in. As I get more seeds, I can afford more. And you can see they are charging up with water. So that is very good. We're up to 4,000 survivors or nearly 5,000. Um, but the most important rocket, the the bottom one, the advanced rocket, 12,000 survivors we can fit on here. Takes twice as long to charge as a bio rocket though. Not ideal. It requires energy. So rather than water, just energy. Oh my goodness, the farm, the farm. <laughs> Quick, replant them, replant them. Yeah, so we require energy and road. So I'm thinking if I do a road across there, I can potentially get away with doing advanced rocket there. Another one there. Does it go diagonal? Doesn't look like it does. But I could just delete that bit of road because it's already connected on that side. And then just shove a little wind turbine there. Yeah, same with that bit of road. We don't need it. So we can shove advanced rocket there. Put a solar panel in between. Sorted. So we got loads of rockets like that. So we're up to 22,000 survivors. Pretty good. Uh, two stars, we need 300,000 survivors. And 600,000 for three stars. So we're slacking quite considerably. Um, however, hopefully we have the resources now to just build. So let's head over to there. Same up to that point as well. We do need more of these advanced reclamation things just because we're pretty much out of minerals. And the skyscrapers I did over here, they've run out. They don't last forever. The good news is where they did run out, I now have empty spaces where I can put I can put these big old rockets because uh, we got the power right next to it. So that is good. Um, I'm also going to need more stone. I'm out of stone as well. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Right. Let's get where's the advanced quarry. There it is. We'll shove that in, shove that in. We'll get solar panels there, solar panels there, maybe solar panels there as well. <laughs> just solar panels everywhere. All right, then we keep the roads going. And basically, you just want to do roads so that you can just spam rockets everywhere at the end. We'll shove one of these to expand the map. Oh yeah, head up there, head up there. We got some good stuff. So clear, clear, clear. That's a load of resources. I should probably head more over this way as well. So plonk one of these in. Oh, there's so much stuff up here. Right, clear, clear, clear. Why have I been doing nothing? Clear, 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 clear. Now, we've only got three minutes remaining. Oh no, this is not good. We're running out of farms. All right, quick, quick, quick. Fill them all in, fill them all in. All right, can I afford more rockets? Yeah, shove on there, shove on there, shove on there. Because we need these ones to charge and they're going to take a while and we can get another buy one in so buy ones will just go in that place and then i won't do the basic ones until we've got like a minute remaining uh, we've saved a hundred thousand people though that's good anyway those up to there we've got a ah where is it where is it it's there advanced reclamation sites solar panels behind basically solar panels everywhere and hopefully as i get more gems i can afford these advanced rockets so i can shove one oh no i need more stone i need more stone All right quarry quarry i need quarries everywhere come on just quarry it up. All right, road it. Road it along here. Roads all the way down there. We'll explore this area. There's a little bit of stuff. Not too much. We need normal quarries. Just get them in. Get them all in. Right, okay. Now we're getting loads of stone. I'm going to start building rockets. We've only got a minute left. So basically, just fill in all the gaps. Try not to do it where we have power. But anywhere we don't have power needs rockets. And they got to be by roads, remember? Right, I need more stone. Come on, game. We've only got 50 seconds remaining. What are we up to? 147,000 people. It's not enough. we got to save more people. Am I ever going to afford an advantage? Well, no, it's got to charge up as well. Okay, let's just spam these everywhere. Spam, 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 spam. What do I need? What do I need? I need more stone. Right, it's 10 seconds remaining. We're all taken off. <laughs> Everyone get aboard. I'm still building rockets. There's still time. Just bored. Oh, there we go. Blast off. 156,000 people survived. It's the most survivors I've ever saved in this game. Um, and you can probably tell I've only, I've only played the tutorial on this. I will say, though, playing this while trying to talk, a lot harder than actually just playing it silently. We saved 156,000 people. Everyone else left on earth uh, they're all dead imagine the earth imagine loads of meteors coming to destroy it uh, that's what happened so on that cheery note i'll say peace love and the timberborn origin story bye guys